Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Halo Mega Bloks UNC Brown Sword Midnight Strike set. Very, very awesome set. Uh, retails for only $60 and you get 716 pieces. And it, it's very awesome. I think it's the only set to date to actually only have figures that are named. I don't think there's any other sets that have uh, figures that are all named. Uh, so that's very, very cool. Uh, the box is uh, medium sized, I'd say. And uh, so you get figures right there. And it includes the died act, which is epic. And on the back, you can see some more of the summer sets or fall sets. And uh, shows you that new articulation, which is very, very cool. And it's awesome having a Master Chief. And they give you like six extra stickers right there. Uh, so cool. Cool, cool. Alright, so here is this set. And it is awesome. I mean, one of my favorites of this fall line, I'd say maybe even my favorite. The Shadow might come in as my favorite, though. So, uh, first off, I want to show you uh, my big complaint with the set is this. There is over 35 stickers here, and this is crazy. This is craziness right here. Uh, so, we haven't gotten a set with this many stickers in a very long time. So, that's... Actually, I'm not sure if the elephant is going to have more stickers, but I don't know. That's a little annoying. you got to put on a lot of stickers here. There isn't any printed parts, so that kind of sucks. And uh, one other thing that's a little weird is they included the 2013 Mo background here. Instead of the 2014 one, so that's very odd. Uh, you get two instruction manuals, and they're very cool. I like the design of them. Uh, and the box design is awesome. It's showing the last mission of Halo 4 uh, when he's sitting on the bridge. Very awesome. Uh, so, before we look at the broadsword itself, let's go ahead and take a look at these awesome figures. Alright, so here is the Master Chief, and this is the first Master Chief, at least I have, with the new articulation, and I really love it. Uh, that is the first pulse grenade released. I believe it's going to be in the Forerunner Weapons Pack 2, and it looks awesome. I love the pulse grenades. They suck in the game, but I think they're still pretty cool. I gave him an assault rifle. You get, like, four other weapons, I believe. I'll show you those later. And uh, someone to mention about this Master Chief, he's got the little explosive damage right there uh, that he has in the game. Not explosive damage, but armor damage, I guess you could say. And it's very cool that they put that on there. And uh, the new articulation has uh, articulation at the elbows and stuff, so you can pose your figure however you would like, and it's very awesome. And he does come assembled. Every figure does come assembled in the set, which is very nice. So, this is the Master Chief. does have a peg hole. And very, very cool. And here is Cortana, and uh, she is the Halo 4 version. And I really like the detailing she has uh, throughout the body and stuff. Looks very nice. One uh, complaint I have, though, is they kept this arm the same way. I wish they would have switched that. Don't really like that. I wish they would have given her, like, an articulated arm. That would have been cool. Uh, but it stays like that. And I believe it's the same mold uh, from the one in Series 4, uh, but just different paint job on it. And the head is pretty, really, really, really funny. Uh, this is pretty much the funniest thing about this set is she kind of looks Asian. As you can see, uh, she, she does not look like Cortana right there. I mean, if you look at her from the back, she does, but look at her at the face, definitely not. So she kind of looks Asian, which is really funny. I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but that's kind of what she looks like. Uh, so that's pretty funny. Uh, but still cool figure overall. I uh, really like the paint job. And I thought I would save the best for last, which is the first Didact figure. And it is amazing. I, I love it a lot. And can't believe we're actually getting one. Never thought we were going to get one. And it's very awesome. The Didact is very cool. They didn't give him the uh, face as the head, but they did give him the helmet, which I actually like better. And he does have a lot of detailing on him. He does in the game, so he's very accurate. Although the one thing I'm a little, I guess, skeptical about is I think that he should be a little taller because I compared him to the Promethean Knight, and the Knight was taller than him. Uh, but that might be game accurate. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys already know that, so uh, just feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, but here he is compared to Master Chief, and he's much taller. Uh, so that is definitely accurate right there. I like that a lot. Uh, he's quite skinny, too. Uh, still very cool. He's got the new articulation as well uh, in the elbows. He doesn't have it in the upper arms. I just noticed that right now, actually. Uh, but it's nice that he comes with the new articulation uh, in the elbow. So, very, very awesome didact. 
uh, some of you may just buy this set for him. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to go for at least $20 on eBay uh, just by himself. Uh, so, very awesome. Uh, he's just absolutely perfect. Alright, so here is the broadsword itself. And it does come with this awesome stand uh, built out of clear pieces. I'm just going to move this so you guys can see it a little bit better. You've got to be careful when it's on its stand. Uh, as you can see, the front view is very awesome. And uh, in terms of accuracy, it's pretty darn accurate. Uh, so you get these two machine guns right here, and they do move. And they are on both sides. And these gold bricks right here, they're very cool. And uh, something new with a Mega Bloks Halo set I've never seen is uh, these are actually, yep, that's thunder. If you guys hear that, it's, it's really raining really hard outside my house right now, and it's uh, not so pretty. Anyways, that's off topic. But this missile right here, if you push it down, uh, fires like that. And it, it fires pretty hard, and it works pretty well. You do get two extra of them, so if you lose it, it's kind of like a spring-loaded missile. Uh, so that is very awesome. And uh, this piece just fell off. I think that went right here. Yeah. So you get two of those missiles, and I think that's a very cool play feature. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a top view on this. Got to pick up the tripod here. And uh, I really like the stand right there. Sometimes it falls off, but it's still pretty sturdy nonetheless. And uh, this set is very nice looking. Uh, yeah, probably going to have to say this is de definitely my favorite set of the year. Uh, something weird is, uh, since there's a lot of stickers here, uh, the instruction manual kind of screws up a lot. Like, it'll say, put sticker 20 here, but it'll be sticker 21. Uh, so, yeah, they, they kind of messed up with that, but it's not a big deal. You can kind of figure that out yourself pretty easily. Uh, so, the way they built this, or just designed this, is very cool. Uh, there are the engines in the back, and I really like them. And uh, it's about to fall over right now. Uh, the wings look very cool. Uh, they should be tilted down a little bit. Uh, but it still looks pretty nice like that. Uh, so that's basically the whole entirety of it. Uh, but it does have one feature right here. And it's if you remove this, it comes off very easily. And uh, kind of falls off the stand a lot. But as you can see in there, you get a weapons rack. In it, and the weapons rack is removable. If I don't knock over the stand here, I've already done this a bunch of times, but it doesn't really break. Well, that's why. There we go. So if we move the broadsword uh, behind us, we get this awesome weapons rack here. And you get a sticky detonator, a grenade launcher, tactical shotgun, and a saw. So four extra weapons uh, for your UNSC army, which is very cool. I really like that. And it does fit in the broadsword quite easily. Just fit it right in there. And you do get two of the little extra missile launchers. Or, yeah, missile launchers or whatever it is. So... Very, very cool. Uh, there's nothing else for me to show you guys other than the uh, cockpit. So this can go on quite easily. All right, so the cockpit is open, openable, and uh, you have to kind of squeeze Master Chief in there. Uh, sometimes it doesn't close fully. You just got to get him fit in there, right? Uh, but he does fit, and uh, the instruction man didn't tell me to put that sticker there. Uh, it never told me to put that sticker anywhere, but I thought it went there. It looks uh, right. Anyway, so Chief fits in there, and you can shut the cockpit. And I really like that design of the cockpit. I'm glad they didn't use any of the like the Falcon cockpit or anything. So that about does it uh, for the set. Uh, I'm probably going to show you the bottom of it. So right there. Uh, I've been told this is the nuke from the game. Uh, but I don't think it is. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but I'm not sure what that is. Uh, those, those of you that know what it is, feel free to tell me. Uh, so yeah, here's the bottom of it. You build a lot on the bottom. I think you actually build more on the bottom than the top. Uh, the build was a lot of fun. Uh, it, was, it wasn't hard. It was just a lot of fun. And I always enjoy building these ships like this. And uh, before we go to the conclusion of the video, I thought I'd compare it to the Sabre. That was in the uh, 2012 countdown set. So, there's the broadsword. And hopefully I don't drop this, but I'll give you a better look. So, there, here's the saber, here's the broadsword. Saber's a little bit bigger. 
uh, but I think the broad sword might have a little more pieces. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that's if you exclude the, the takeoff pieces with the saber. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll show you the stand real quick, quick actually. Uh, the broadsword can go off and uh, can be displayed pretty nicely without the stand as well. Uh, so here it is. Very cool. It just fits on through these little slants right here. And uh, I had one extra clear brick, so I just put it on here to make the stand a little taller. Uh, so yeah, that's the stand, and that is the broadsword. Alright, so on to the conclusion. Uh, I really like this set. Uh, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 just because the figures are amazing. Uh, the Cortana, I wish, had a little more articulation, uh, but the broadsword itself is an absolute masterpiece. Nothing wrong with it other than uh, a little more stickers than it needs. Uh, but that, That's the only flaw I really have with this set is the sticker count. Uh, but other than that, it's an amazing set. I'm still going to give it a 10 out of 10 for that. Uh, getting a Didact, Master Chief, and Cortana in one set, I mean, that's crazy amazing. That's like the three, three main characters of Halo 4, so it's awesome. And I know a lot of you are going to want this for the Didact, and... Uh, it's great that it's only 60 and not like 70 or 80 dollars, so it's gonna be much more affordable than most would think. Uh, and I would have to recommend this over the elephant. I don't have the elephant, but from the looks of it, I don't really like it. I think this set is much better. I think you guys are gonna like this much better as well. Uh, Master Chief with a new articulation is great. Cortana uh, with a lot of detailing is great, and Didact, of course, uh, is awesome. Uh, so that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I uh, look forward to the Plain Warthog and the new Mombasa that's coming soon. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.